In 2023, artificial intelligence became available to almost everyone, changing the way we live and work. It is now one of the most widely used technologies impacting our lives daily. And the possibilities are everywhere. Tech expert Arthur Goldstruck has just released The Hitchhiker's Guide to AI, a book that provides an overview of AI's past, present and future. It's been an evolution over the past uh, six years. So, for example, a child or a student can use AI to do their homework for them. But far more important and far more beneficial to humanity is the idea that a child or a student will have a permanent tutor at their side and a tutor who has access to all the knowledge of the world. The arrival of apps such as ChatGPT push the boundaries of technology. The chatbot puts generative AI tools at the fingertips of millions from diverse backgrounds or even from differing capabilities. AI can basically help me in my you know, everyday tasks. It can help me pre prepare a lesson even um, if it's a very difficult uh, topic because something like um, ChatGPT has the tendency to break down a very difficult subject into much more understandable components. So for me as a blind person for my daily life, I think AI is going to play a big role. We do everything with AI, setting appointments, setting our alarms on our phones, like scheduling things, that's what we do. And even our um, research, AI helps us in, in achieving a lot in a very short space of time. People can actually understand that there's real business impact that could be achieved out of using these types of things. And especially in an industry like this, it's almost infeasible to farm any other way. Um, and we're seeing it with things like ChatGPT and the other AI space, but really in this sector, it's becoming more commonplace and seen as a tool to, to just use information more efficiently and focus on the right things at the right time. The US and China are leading the global AI race. There are concerns over whether policy can keep pace with rapid evolution and the impact AI could have on employment and inequality, especially in Africa. Julie Shara, CHTN, Cape Town, South Africa.